Thank you so much for joining me on another art adventure for our travel day series. Today, we are going to be traveling to Mongolia. Um, and I really want to connect here with these eagle hunters. Um, I think it's just this incredible, incredible tradition that I kind of wanted to touch on. Um, I've recently been having kind of these dreams of these hawks and um, eagles. And so it made me kind of something in my my daily life connect to this. So I'm kind of looking here, I'm picking my color palette based on the textiles that you see in some of these photographs from Unsplash. Um, some really, really beautiful, vibrant um, embroidery is going to inspire it, um, combined with these kind of vast mountainous um, landscapes that sur surround the area. So um, the where this takes place is deep in the Altai Mountains, um, where basically where Russia, China, and Kazakhstan and Mongolia meet. So it's in Mongolia, and we're going to be following the Kazakh people. Um, for centuries, they have been doing this eagle hunting. Um, so essentially, they um, connect and bond with a eagle from birth. Um, so they do take them from the nest. And from there, um, they nurture them like their own baby or their own. Um, and they, they connect and have this special bond with this animal. And then they hunt for small animals um, throughout this land. So live very traditionally. Um, it's, it, you know, not necessarily everyone does it now for survival as much as they do to keep on the tradition and as a sport. Um, the articles I read also said a lot of people are, um, you know, sending their kids off to urban areas to go to private schools now because they hope that they get different education. And, and because of that, you, you start to wonder um, what is going to happen to some of these traditions. So I'm just going to be working in my journal spread right here. I want to just get a background to, so, so we can really see you know, these majestic um, mountains, but also how vast and um, this landscape is. And, and it's really desolate. Um, and then coming over here with my ink wash, I put a little bit too much ink down, so I'm probably going to kind of blot it. Um, but this Edelstein ink is great because it kind of creates this nice um, warm wash in the background and kind of gives it kind of... Um, I don't know, like a antique kind of look to it, but I kind of just want to blot it and give it even more of an antique look. And, or you could even go over it with water and just move it around um, to kind of give some texture to the background. In this journal, I want you to think of some of those things or symbolism or animals that are coming to you, whether it be in dreams or when you're out in nature. For me, for instance, I keep seeing these hawks. So um, we are specifically talking about golden eagles, but it kind of triggered this memory of, oh my gosh, I really want to study Mongolia a little bit more. And I, I have these vivid images of um, these men on horseback um, with their eagles and, you know, that embroidery, clothing. Um, so taking something that inspires you from your today to day and then taking that curiosity and bringing it into another country or place or city, um, even if you haven't been there. So I'm just playing around with what photographs I want to use. Part of me wanted to do, there's one photograph um, where he's kind of looking in the distance and the eagle's flying off. Um, I, I love that idea of that freedom, but I'm actually going to pick this photograph um, that's a little bit more about the connection and the bond between animal and man. I'm not going to lie, I, I did find that it was difficult to hear that these eagles were taken from their nests and taken from their mothers, um, but they do take them on as like their own um, children. And so, you know, there is this incredible, incredible bond and connection. And so I think that's going to be kind of the focus of mine is um, the bond and connection to nature, the bond and connection between these golden eagles and the Kazakh people. And then this bond and connection to traditions, um, you know, also that balance of modern life, you know, even if um, some people that were in the articles had said that they 
they themselves wanted to live the traditional life, but they wanted something different for their kids. Um, and we see this throughout uh, lots of places where, you know, it does make us kind of question what is going to happen to some of these traditions um, once, you know, the generations pass. Um, you know, how do we keep some of this alive either by story or, or by artwork even? Um, so anyways, for me, it was just a way to kind of connect and follow my curiosity and learn a little bit more about this area, this region, and the traditions that go with it. I came in and I just kind of blended some of those collage elements, started bringing in some of my colors and, you know, really kind of making some mountainous layers um, and then creating that vastness of um, that prairie or open space that are in front of the um, mountains by, you know, also having a contrasting or warmer color compared to that kind of blue of the mountains. Um, and then I'm going to kind of come in, I, I keep referencing maybe these, I kind of like it as is, but I keep referencing um, the design work and the embroidery work on the clothing that I'm going to start kind of adding some patterns here and kind of connecting that culture and heritage um, into this piece living that, you know, more traditional lifestyle, um, you know, if you imagine where this is on the part of the earth, it's a very, very harsh living, um, harsh winters, um, survival of, of getting your own food and, um, you know, not only that, but taking care of your own animals, having your horses and your eagles and your family and, um, you know, there's so much more that goes into it um, and, and this traditional lifestyle without having those amenities um, close by. And, you know, they had talked to um, in one of the videos that I'll link in my blog about the drought and how that's impacted um, the hunting as well, that there's less animals to hunt for um, in, in this area as well. In the unsplash photos, you can see the pattern work in the clothing, um, but I did also find kind of a photograph online, so you could just research Mongolian textiles um, to get a closer look of the different colors used and the different patterning. I kind of selected um, that kind of lime or bright green with the orange and the pink and kind of this turquoise-ish green color that I see throughout with this black. Um, so I'm coming in, they're just kind of building this embroidery work in, in here with my own painting. And then I, I think I wanna just tear up different elements of the textiles as well um, to really weave in that tradition. And I'm sure, you know, being made by artisans, um, bringing in that tradition as well that um, from the textiles in into this nature and into the scenery.
So I'm weaving in some of this pattern work, tearing up some of this textile and adding it in, and then coming in now with my white gel pen to kind of give it that kind of more um, stitched look or embroidered look, um, which you see into the textiles. Um, and then I kind of want to push back some of that um, patterning work as well. Um, so it's really interesting thing that I found that hunting with the Golden Eagles um, is actually, they use it primarily not for meat, but actually for the fur, um, specifically the Corsic foxes, the hares. Um, that is, you know, what they're actually hunting for is to keep keep warm on these really, really cold um, winter days in this harsh, harsh environment. Um, so it's less for the meat and, and more for the fur. Now they don't let um, things go to waste, but that is, it is very interesting. And also read that um, another reason for for the eagle hunting is that sense of identity and that connection to tradition that's been going on for thousands and thousands of years. So I could have just left it um, plain without this textile work, um, and I loved it that way as well. But this is a fun way for me to kind of connect and explore um, a little bit more of the art in the area and the region. Um, so I love just kind of connecting and, and create, looking at these designs and patterning and coming in and bringing my own, um, my own patterns as well into this with my white gel pen. You could use markers or anything that can give you that really, really fine detail or just a fine brush, um, a thin brush with your acrylics will give you it as well. I kind of want to push back these so I'm going to use my soft pastels to just kind of push back so I'm using it on the side and kind of um, almost creating this illusion of the clouds and, and using different colors of my soft pastels to add a little bit of vibrancy but also to push back the design work um, so that it's just a little bit more subtle um, so that my focus is still on the eagle and the man um, and see the landscape in the background. If you've ever seen any of my classes or lessons, you'll see me use the soft pastels a lot um, to add that vibrancy and, and also to just kind of blend things a little bit better um, and bring in a different material. I think it's fun to work in mixed media, especially in your art journals. Um, I would love to actually, as I'm doing this, do a portrait painting of, of one of these eagle hunters. Um, but, you know, I had didn't have a ton of time this week um, and so it allowed me to still kind of connect to a place, a region. Well, just doing a mixed media art journal doesn't always have to be this fine art piece. You can still connect. You can still study an area and follow your curiosity, um, even through an art journal or a mixed media piece. So I hope you connected a little bit more to Mongolia and some of its traditions and this piques your interest to go and study and learn about more and more about the region and the people and the area. Um, these lessons are always intended. They're short, my travel day series. Um, we don't go into a lot of detail like we do in our classes, but I hope that it sparks some curiosity and gives you some prompts and ideas to continue, continue your travel and art journey um, and, and really continue to explore your curiosities. Thank you so much again for joining me. I um, would love to see what you create.